My name is Kelsey Moser. I'm here with the Score Esports, and I'm here to interview Edward Gaming's Mako after they just defeated H2K Gaming. So, first of all, uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the NAMI ban that H2K levied against you. You've been playing that champion a lot, but um, typically in the past you've pay played a lot of more roaming supports. Um, how did the NAMI ban affect your game plan, if at all? Ban NAMI, I think it's because I played two NAMI, and they want to get to Karma, so if you go to the NAMI, then Karma is able to get to the NAMI, so they will think about Ban NAMI. But how did the NAMI ban affect your game plan, if at all? Actually, the impact is not a lot of impact. If you go to the NAMI, then you will be able to get to the NAMI. Arista 的话也能，就是下路抗压，然后就找机会游走啊，然后打团的话也会比娜美好一点。And the start of the game, there was a little bit of an unfortunate error by H2K's bottom lane, uh, but other than that, H2K have his bottom lane AD carry. He's very um, competitive, and he really thought that they could do well against you. Do you think that uh, despite the bottom lane upset, he still? They still play the lane relatively well, or? Um, actually, they, um, 就是他们下路拿到就是 E Z 跟卡玛的话，对线是比较强势的嘛。但是一级他们比较冒冒险，然后进了我们草丛，然后被我们打出技能的话，就没有那么强势。So, also there was a lot of restriction on the top lane. You guys chose to ban a lot of top laners. Could you talk a little bit about that strategy and why you really wanted to restrict uh, Odoamne's champion, champion pool? 就是对面上单，凯南和纳尔都玩的比较多嘛，玩的比较好，所以就感觉，因为他们也是第五选嘛，可以康德选，所以就是把他们这种比较强的英雄搬掉的话，我们上单会更好选择一点。And uh, as a final question for you, uh, um, going into this tournament, a lot of Western journalists were really impressed by your play, and a lot of them even suggested that you might be the best support at this tournament. Uh, do you have any perspective on this? Um, this I think and uh, so thank you very much. Uh, that's it for this interview. You can find the rest of our content on the Score Esports app.